Let's take a look at how a car moves, turns, and stops. Ignition on. A small lamp will light up, indicating each part as it is explained. In order to get the car to move, you have to first depress the clutch pedal before putting the shift lever into gear. You then depress the accelerator to increase the engine speed as you gradually take your foot off the clutch. The wheels now begin to turn. Notice how the power from the engine travels through the clutch, transmission, drive shaft, differential, rear axle, and finally to the wheels. Okay, let's increase the speed a bit. Moving the shift lever changes the gear ratio in the transmission, causing the speed to increase. Notice that the speed has increased. Next, let's take a look at how a car turns. By turning the steering wheel to the right, the pinion gear and steering linkage work to move the front wheels to the right, which results in the vehicle itself turning right. Now, let's turn left. at the rear wheel. Can you see that the outer wheel opposite the direction of the turn actually spins faster? That's because the outer wheel has to travel a greater distance than the inner wheel. This action is controlled by the differential gears. Let's stop the car. By taking your foot off the accelerator and applying it to the brake pedal, the drum brakes on the inside of the wheels work to slow the spinning of the wheels. Notice that the car has now come to a stop. Many different interconnected mechanisms allow cars to move, turn, and stop. For more in-depth explanation, please take a look at each individual mechanism.